favorite things in my life are song lyrics because I draw a lot from them. For example, one of my favorites is the 2014 song Selfies by Chainsmoker. But wait, let me take a selfie. It's one of the most stupid and most ridiculous songs I have ever heard, but it actually captures our generation and our society of today pretty darn well. For example, all of us in this room, at least the majority of us, can say that they're a part of a social media network, whether it's Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Tumblr, or Twitter. Because for some reason, we really care about the world knowing about our lives. Now me, I use Twitter and Facebook very often. I post really random stories, and I'm not gonna lie, I do take pictures of my food. I don't know why, actually. But for, the reason, for some reason, social media has become a very popular thing nowadays. And because of that, it's becoming more and more of a trend. In today's society, social media has become more and more popular because we use it, and it's going to be very popular. Okay. But <laughs> discussing today's topic, which is social media, we have to understand three key points of view. First, we must understand how social media is changing socially accepted behaviors. Second, we'll adjust how we as individuals are, being, are subtly and obviously being influenced and impacted by social media. And last but not least, we'll see how in the coming years and for future generations, social media is now evolving to become more of a magnificent part of our daily lives, which isn't exactly a good thing. But first and foremost, we must really address what exactly is social media. Social media is a website or application that enables users to create and share content or participate in social networking. Now all of these symbols, oh gosh, all of these symbols up here are perfect examples of social media. And whether you're a part of all of them or one of them, we still play a vital role in the community because we are always doing something. For example, who has Facebook or who has a Twitter or actually Instagram? Fair enough, okay. Actually, so basically all of us know how these work. But it's a part of social media because we're all sharing something with the world. Whether it's a picture, whether it's a quote, whether it's something that we particularly like, it's absolutely important to understand how it's relevant to the society because it's actually changing how we work. So on our first point, we must really understand how it's changing socially accepted behaviors. Socially accepted behaviors is how we compose ourselves in public. For example, we know for a fact that cussing in public or using the middle finger isn't exactly appropriate. But for some reason in today's, in today's society, that value and that standard is slowly changing. If you look at these pictures on the screen today, on the screen here, excuse me, we see a young child flipping the camera off and uh, what happens to be uh, very young children dancing and twerking on each other. Now, when I grew up, I didn't really know how to dance, to be very honest with you, but I knew very certainly that my groin plus another person's butt wasn't supposed to touch. Now, although for my generation and for, for my childhood, excuse me, that was very important for me to understand, and today, in 2014, that standard has greatly changed. We see these vines, these vines of children cussing and using profanity or doing things that aren't exactly appropriate just because people think it's funny. One of the greatest, one of the saddest things, excuse me, that I saw just recently was a vine, I know you can't see this very well, was a vine of a child smoking a weed joint. And the person who gave the, per gave the child the weed joint was his parent, and he laughed as the child smoked the weed joint. Now, if you were to be future parents, is this the kind of value you want to instill in your children? The answer is obviously not, because social media in itself is changing that. It's kind of sad to see how it's changing us as individuals, but for the most part, it's worse for the younger generation. It's not that they are more likely to absorb it, but because they use it much more often. I've seen fifth graders with Facebook posts, like, ooh, hit me up, I like this. And I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> so essentially, you have to understand how social media is changing socially accepted behaviors. We are drastically being changed by what we see, what we hear, and ultimately what we do. A study taken by The Economist in February 14th of 2014 highlighted how more than 37% of teenagers nowadays are being involved with social media because they think it's cool or popular. They're not focusing on academics, they're not focusing on their personal lifestyles, rather what their friends like. They want a favorite or a like on Facebook and so forth, which generally shows how socially, socially accepted behaviors is being changed greatly because of social media. Which brings us to our second point, which is the idea of how we are being influenced. Now who here watches the news or some sort of television or reads the newspapers? Cool, news is good, but you should do it more often. But one of the most important things to understand about news is that we all rely on a certain source, whether it's a certain newscast or a certain brand or newspaper or magazine, we have to understand how really our sources that we depend on aren't always that reliable or there's a lot of bias behind it. And because we're not aware of that as people or as individuals, we are greatly influenced. For example, oh man. <laughs> for example, you have to look at these two magazines, right? Justin Bieber and, Mah and Hannah Montana or Miley Cyrus. In 2013 and 2012, they had their music careers of a lifetime. They had music, they had money, and every possible chance they could possibly need. But because of their lifestyles and decisions, their lives, not judging anyone of course, have taken a different turn. But how does that matter to us? For the younger generation who look up to these people, who look up to them as role models and icons, they are being greatly influenced. For example, my 13-year-old cousin, Justin, 
Who, hey, Justin, hi, Justin. <laughs> Justin who likes Justin Bieber. Yeah. He used to go around a family party singing Justin Bieber songs. And I used to think that was cool. But after you hear stories about how Justin Bieber is spitting on his fans and laughing about it, or driving around crazily in his neighborhood, that isn't the kind of behavior that you want someone to look up to. As you understand this, we see how the younger generation, including ourselves, are being greatly influenced on this. Look at another example for Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus. During the VMA Awards, her outstanding performance really shook the social media world. So much attention was brought to it. According to Reuters, on January 13th of 2014, nearly 80 million viewers of, uh, excuse me, 80 million viewers of the VMA saw Miley Cyrus's performance and ultimately were utterly shocked. But 80 million viewers says a lot because they're actually paying attention to her. Was it exactly a great performance? No one can really say that. But the fact that so many people are giving attention to it ultimately show how we are being affected and influenced. But for a better example, we can look at our politics today. If you see this picture of President Barack Obama, a lot of you have an initial thought, ooh, I like him or I don't like him. But the question is why do you like him or why do you dislike him? Have any of you followed his political agenda for the last four years? Do you understand his policies and what he plans to do for the country? Because if you don't, it shows indefinitely that you've been influenced by something that someone has said or something that you've seen, which utterly shows how we as individuals are being influenced by what we see and what we hear. But to our last and perhaps not, uh, for, oh, yeah. to our perhaps last point, we have to really understand how social media is going to be evolving and becoming more part of our daily lives. Things like Twitter, Instagram, and Amazon, and Facebooking are no longer just social networking sites. On the contrary, they're going, to be car they're going to become a part of a massive industry where you can buy and purchase goods. In an evolving economy of today, we have to pay attention to literally how we are being changed. And because social media is growing, because everybody is using it and technology is rapidly evolving, it's becoming, more of our, it's becoming part more of our daily lives, which indefinitely shows how social media is changing. When we combine three points of our ask, uh, three uh, points of interest all together, we must understand how really social media isn't bad, but it's important to also understand how we are being influenced by it. First, we clearly saw how social media was changing socially accepted behavior, how younger generations such as our children or our cousins and nephews were being negatively influenced. Second, we saw how we were being influenced by what we see as icons or even political role models. And last but not least, we understood how really the social media world is changing to become an industry, which indefinitely shows how social media is evolving. Now that we're more aware of it, maybe you'll be more careful as to what you look at or listen to.